Meta AI has released a new model that is based on a 2024 paper that completely transforms how large language models work. The large language models that we use today use something called tokenization, but this new model from Meta AI does not use a tokenization, rather it is called a dynamic byte latent transformer model. So if you see computer language, computer basically understand bits and bytes, but that is not what you use in a large language model. Rather, you tokenize a large language model text into something called tokens. Token is the fundamental unit of large language models. But what if you can eliminate tokens completely and make architecture that can understand byte level details of whatever you give as an input. That is the inspiration behind this model and it is not just a simple inspiration anymore, rather it's not even a paper anymore. And it is a full fledged model that has been released on Hugging Faces Model Hub. You can go ahead and then use it. Somehow Meta keeps on rejecting my access request. But you can go here and then start filling in your information and you can download the model and start using the model in itself. So this model is called BLT, Byte Latent Transformer. And this model is not a simply a dumb model, rather the model matches the performance of Llama 3. So if you have to use Llama 3 1 trillion token trained model, this model, the 8 billion parameter model, almost uh, goes on par with uh, Llama 3 on different benchmarks. The way the model works is you have got a local encoder, you have got a latent transformer, you have got a local decoder. So the local encoder takes the text and then converts into byte stream. So you have got the text and then converting into byte stream. And then the byte stream is then converted into something called patches. So the way patch is created is how different it is to predict the next one. And uh, that is similar bytes are grouped together as patches. And now that patch is used to predict the next patch. And then finally unpatching happens. And then at the end, you have the next byte prediction rather than next token prediction. So if you have got something like better than BPE, then you just give this as an input and then it says better than BPE, which becomes the final output because it can understand the entire thing. So now this entire paper builds on top of one particular information, which is if you eliminate tokenization and if you do it at byte level, this can improve a bunch of things. One, primarily, it is going to make large language models really, really highly efficient. See, if you know the transformer model has a big problem and the problem arises also because tokenization exists. So this model completely eliminates that. It says, okay, we can scale the models uh, with the byte latent transformer and also make sure that they match the performance of the current tokenizer based models and at a 50% lesser compute. This is like a kid in a candy shop if you are an LLM enthusiast. Not just simply text generation, they have proved that this model can work on something like even MBPP, which is a coding benchmark and on, on human evil, which is also a coding benchmark. It may not reach the level of the current state of the art models, like let's say Quinn, and you've got Llama 4, and you've got ChatGPT's latest models. It is not at that particular level yet, but this research and open sourcing of this model particularly promises that this should ideally work. If you were to see what is the biggest difference between this model and the previous models that are existing like Llama, the GPT of models, the GPT Llama family of models are called token based models because the fundamental unit, it is tokenization and the tokenization happens through BPE or some other methods. But rather here with BLT, only the raw byte sequences are used. So the input representation is raw byte sequence. Next, one of the biggest problem that you would face with a large language model is it has a predefined fixed set of tokens that is called vocabulary. It's like, you know, you hand over a dictionary to a large language model and it can always pick only one of those words from it. And this is also one of the reason why you cannot expect a lot of innovation from it. And that is not the case here in the BLT model. So there is no fixed vocabulary. That means you're not constraining the model from what it can say, rather it creates dynamic patches which can lead to new concepts, new things that it has not learned before. In terms of compute allocation, the compute allocation is always uniform. For every token, it is going to take the same compute, but with BLT, it is going to be dynamic based on the content entropy. For inference efficiency, we're not talking about only training, but for inference, uh, when you have to use it in the test time, scales with the number of tokens. As you have to produce more number of tokens, you have to have more number of compute. But in this case of BLT, it reduces by using fewer but larger patches. Patches are nothing but groups of bytes. And in terms of robustness, this model 
is more resilient to noise, spelling, or character level changes, while the llama based, token based models are more sensitive to tokenization. And this is something that we have seen time and time again. If you add a dot, it might have an impact. If you have an uppercase letter, it might have an impact. And in terms of multilingual fairness, this model can be a language agnostic model because it is not looking at the token, rather, it is looking at the bytes. And finally, to scale this model, this model scales much better than the traditional token based models. I think overall, this is a huge win win for the entire ecosystem if you can produce similar performing model that takes a lesser compute like a 50 percent fewer inference flops i think this is a huge win and this is a huge boost for the efficiency of large language models and also to scale up them to agi i don't know what is agi going to look like but we definitely need some improvement over the current technology this architecture can provide it let me know what you think about this architecture if it is actually truly groundbreaking just like i made the video or you think this is just another fad then it will go away let me know in the comment section see you in another video happy prompting